Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After you have made any change to a presentation that you want to keep, you should save the presentation. Learning to save your work frequently is one of the most important computer skills you can have. When you save a presentation for the first time, you must use the Save As dialog box. To open this dialog box, click the File tab within the ribbon, and then click the Save As command from the Command panel to open the Save As dialog box. Here you need to give PowerPoint both the location where the presentation will be saved, and also a file name. Now give it a file name that you will remember, and be sure to remember where you saved it. File names may be up to 255 characters in length, but should probably be short and descriptive. PowerPoint will not let you use the following symbols in a file name. The colon, the forward slash, the backslash, the greater than sign, the less than sign, the asterisk, double quotes, or the pipe symbol. Now once you've named and saved the file, by clicking the Save button, its name will appear in the presentation's title bar. Now if you make changes in the future, you will not have to re-enter the name and location. To save changes to a presentation that you've saved once before, you can either click the file tab in the ribbon and then click the save command or you can simply click the save button that appears in the quick access toolbar to let PowerPoint automatically save the changes to the presentation to the same place with the same name. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.